Hi everyone, my name is Chef Christine from Virtual Table and today we'll be making mold wine. For this mold wine, we are going to need a few ingredients, starting off with two oranges or a citrus of your choice, a 750 milliliter bottle of wine, today we're using a red Merlot, half a cup of dark brown sugar or light brown sugar, whatever you have at home, two sticks of cinnamon, you could either use normal cinnamon sticks or Saigon cinnamon, Vietnamese cinnamon, and finally, one fourth teaspoon of ground cardamom or three green cardamom pods if you have them. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. So this recipe calls for two oranges. And for the first orange, we're going to be using the peel and the juice. And for the second orange, we're going to be using it for garnish. So we're going to start off by peeling this orange using your normal potato peeler or whatever you have at home. And we're going to go ahead and remove this outer layer. And when you're removing this outer layer, try not to get any of the white part or the pith of the orange. This will make our mold wine a little bit bitter if we have any of that pith in it. So go ahead and thinly peel your entire orange. And if you smell this right now, it's super fragrant. It almost smells like the essence of orange. So simply removing the entire pith of this orange and after we will cut this orange in half and juice the orange for our mold wine. So up next we are going to be juicing this orange. So go ahead and take a knife, cut the orange in half or in quarters, whatever makes you feel comfortable and squeeze out all the juice. I'll go ahead and cut this into quarters to make it easier for me. And now go ahead and juice that entire orange. So you can either use your hands to juice this orange or use a citrus squeezer. All right, so that is our orange juice. We could go ahead and set that aside. So up next, we have our second orange for our garnish for our mold wine. And we are simply going to slice this into nice rounds. And we'll be placing this on top of the cup later for a little cute decoration. So using my knife, I'm going to start making slices here. And there we have our sliced oranges, our orange juice that we juiced from earlier, and some orange zest for our mold wine. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and start steeping our spices to make our mold wine. And we are gonna start off with a medium-sized saucepan here and a heat source. And to the saucepan, we are going to add all of our ingredients that we missed out earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our entire bottle of wine, 750 milliliters. Up next, we have our 10 ounces of brandy straight in the saucepan, along with half a cup of our brown sugar, two cinnamon sticks, six of our cloves, and finally, we have our 1 4 teaspoon of ground cardamom or three green cardamom pods if you have them. All right, we are going to turn on the heat and we are looking for about a medium. We are going to simmer this mold wine for about 30 minutes. So go ahead and take a spatula or a spoon and mix to dissolve all that brown sugar. Get those spices nice and combined. And finally, we are going to be adding our orange juice. Straight in. After our orange juice, make sure to add your orange peel. 
So those are all our ingredients straight into that medium-sized saucepan. Our mulled wine, our brandy, our cinnamon sticks, brown sugar, cloves, cardamom, orange juice, and orange peel. So once all your ingredients are in your saucepan, we are going to bring it to a quick boil and then reduce that heat to a medium and a medium low. We're going to go ahead and leave this uncovered for around 30 minutes and this will help steep in all those flavors including that cinnamon stick and that clove creating a nice warm spice wine. All right, everyone, our 30 minutes are up and our mulled wine is done simmering. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and strain it into a small saucepan or whatever you have on hand. So here I have a small saucepan and a sieve and we're gonna use this to strain and catch all of those ingredients we put in, such as our cinnamon sticks, cloves, and our orange peel. We are done steeping our mulled wine and up next we are going to be garnishing our glasses. So what I did with these oranges was slice them up into nice rounds and make a slit halfway through your orange. And what this does is create a nice place for this orange slice to rest once you insert it on top of your glass. So our last thing we have to do is to scoop up this mulled wine into our glasses and serve. And that is our mulled wine. Cheers! Cheers.